Welcome to lecture 2 in week 6 uh, of uh, machine learning foundations. In this lecture, we will continue the discussion of positive definiteness. Uh, we started this in the context of functions in the last lecture. Uh, in this lecture, uh, we will define uh, uh, the notion of positive definiteness in the context of a, a real symmetric matrix. Uh, we will define what it means to say a real symmetric matrix is positive definite. And then we will also see what this definition is equivalent to uh, and uh, we will uh, see the equivalent, we will see two equivalent ways to define a positive definite matrix. Uh, we will show this equivalence rigorously. Now we move on to the main topic which is positive positive definite matrices. We have seen what a positive definite function is and uh, I mean take a matrix like this. We saw this in the dot product. Now this is positive definite if a greater than 0 and a c minus p square greater than 0. Okay. Now, this uh, is positive definite because I mean uh, the corresponding function here, the corresponding function is f of where b is Okay, so the function f is positive definite. If this ma is equal to saying some this matrix is positive definite, and this function being positive definite is just connected to a greater than zero and a c minus b square greater than zero. And the important note is if a greater than zero and a c minus b square greater than 0, then both eigenvalues in say lambda 1 comma lambda 2 of a are positive. I mean to see this, a c minus b square equal to determinant of a is the same as lambda 1 into lambda 2 and we know that this is greater than 0. Okay. And what is the trace of a equals lambda 1 plus lambda 2. The trace of a matrix is the sum of the diagonal entries and also it is the sum of the eigenvalues. And so we know that a plus c is also <coughs> trace of this is this. And this is clearly greater than zero because we know that a c is greater than b square. So a is greater than zero. A a into c is uh, definitely positive, and a is positive. So a is positive. So c is also positive, and that just means. Uh, uh, so it's very clear. So what you have is lambda 1 into lambda 2 greater than 0 and lambda 1 plus lambda 2 is also greater than 0 in place lambda 1 greater than 0 and lambda 2 greater than 0. That's all there is to it. Okay. It's easy to infer this. Now this is a property that gets generalized also like A real symmetric matrix A is positive definite if P transpose AB is greater than 0. Real symmetric, uh, let's say, in cross in matrix. For all b belonging to R n, b is not the trivial vector. Now, 
let me call this say condition one now condition one is equivalent to all eigen values of a are strictly positive okay so we could define in particular we could define saying uh, real sum matrix matrix a is positive definite if all of its eigen values are greater than 0 and uh, that's the same as saying condition 1 proof of equivalence first part we'll show one in place two so, so suppose one holds and uh, take the eigen equation ax equals lambda x and if i do x transpose ax that's x transpose lambda x and this lambda times norm x square now for x that's no x is not equal to zero because it's an eigen vector okay and x transpose a x is greater than zero from one so this implies implies, implies lambda is greater than zero since x transpose a x equals lambda times norm x square is greater than 0 and x not equal to 0. So since x is not equal to 0 and x transpose a x is the same as lambda times norm x norm of x squared so lambda has to be greater than 0. Since x is not equal to 0 so you have a positive quantity here and so lambda can neither be 0 nor less than 0. Okay, now the reverse proof for 2 in place 1. A is real symmetric. In place, this is from the spectral theorem. In place, uh, there exists an ortho normal basis of eigenvectors. Say x1 until xn. Now for any x so any x belonging to Rn can be written using this x1 to xn is a basis so x is some constant uh, x1 and so on until constant times xn because x1 to xn is a basis now ax equals One plus blah 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 plus C n in X n. But these X1 to X n are eigenvectors. So lambda one X1 C n lambda n X n since X1 to X n are eigenvectors corresponding to eigenvalues lambda 1 and lambda 1. Now what is x transpose ax? x transpose ax is what is x? x is c1 x1 plus so on cn xn whole transpose into ax. ax is nothing but c1 lambda 1 x1 plus lambda 
Ctrl, Cn, bang, bang, exit. And this is equal to C1 square, lambda 1, this so on. Cn square, lambda n. Since norm xa square equals 1. So transpose x j equals zero for a not equal to j. <coughs> now this is clearly greater than zero since lambda i greater than zero for all i prime assumption two. So we started with two oh, by condition two. We started with 2 and we are trying to infer 1. So we are assuming that all the lambda is are greater than 0. And c1 square, cn square are all greater than 0. And so, in place, x transpose ax is greater than 0. And condition 1 holds. A recap of uh, today's lecture uh, before I wrap up, uh, what did we learn today? We learned that for a real symmetric matrix A, uh, it is uh, positive definite if uh, for any given vector V, V transpose A V is strictly positive uh, for all non-trivial vectors V. And now we also showed that uh, this condition is equivalent to saying that all the eigenvalues of uh, uh, the matrix A are strictly positive. So, these are two equivalent ways of defining a positive definite matrix, uh, positive definite real symmetric matrix. We could show this equivalence rigorously.